Jake didn't want to get the treasure off the island, Sully. He was trying to stop it from leaving. What? It's cursed or something. Oh, Jake, for God's sake. Look, I know it sounds crazy. You just gotta trust me. Yeah, because it's still fuck you, Sully. It's like, ah, oh, come on. No. Screw you. You weren't killing anybody. You at most killed one person. Maybe collectively from the damage you did to everybody. Maybe. There's nothing else to say. Screw the game's combat at this point. The beginning was okay, because it's like a little clunky, but still good, and then they just went to shit. Now I understand why, because FYI, yes, I know uh, the ending boss a bit. Now I know why they didn't do a good ending boss, because they knew they'd disappoint if they tried. now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. Craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> open it! Don't open it, dummies. Hello, oh, Totem Kamen. person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Gotta get lost that one. Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Zombies. Oh, God. Run! Uh, uh, Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. Yay, now we have shotguns. That was the lamest headbutt ever, Sully. Oh, God. If that thing gets off the island, you gotta stop him. I'll come in from here. Well, that was a weird animation glitch. Huh. No, you have to go the right way. I don't know the right way, motherfucker. How many Spaniards are there? Seriously. Screw you. Do the shotgun cut the rope. It's a giant knife that shoots tinier knives.
Hello assholes, it is me. Lol. From three to one. You're outnumbered, and now you're gonna land on the ship. Time for a terrible boss battle after I probably have to fight my way to it. Joy to the world and quick time events. No, don't kill me, I'm the good guy. Oh, spinning coin. I have to give it credit, how many spinning coin transitions were there over the entire game? I don't think there was that many. And so respawn, he was fast, but seriously! Fucking... Yay, insta-deaths! More insta-deaths! You gotta be cautious! Fuck that! At least not to that level. Super cautiousness resides. Oh, if you show your head, you're dead. Because he's auto locking. Aim butter. Destructible ammo, shit, fuck off. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide here. Aim, aim, dickhead. Make them come to me. Screw you, you're not gonna kill me. I'm hiding, dickhead. But I don't want to get insta killed by that guy. Why is it an insta death? Alright, because the programmers are idiots. That's the only logical explanation. Random shoots. Of course they destroy the box right at the same time. I better spawn at the second point or I'm gonna be very... Fuck off, fuck off. This is a stupid game. Nice. 
Get under. Get into cover, asshole. He wouldn't get into cover. Of course, destroy the boxes. Destroy the fucking boxes. Basically, it's go to the place that he can't destroy and knock off his henchmen one by one game. Oh, this game is fun. Oh, and more spawn. Why? That's just dead. And of course they get the indestructible stinking cover. Oh, but not the player, because that would make it too easy, even though we have insta-death mechanics. Okay, of course. No, 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 no. Really, why? One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. Fuck that shit, man. Seriously. That's just insidious. Shouldn't bum rush you at this stage. Of course. No, 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 no. Okay, now if I re I'm going to. Of course, because you're a dick. Get into cover, asshole. Cover. Oh, crap, now what? Gotcha. Cover. <laughs> and I'm dead. Because stupid boss battle. You're mine. And you're a stupid idiot. And there we go. Jackass defeated. Charted easy. I did it on normal, asshole. Elena. There we go. Elena. Oh god. Elena. Come on. Come on. Can you stand? I can only imagine what crushing might be like.
what you get. God. Save the world, triumph over evil. <laughs> Pretty typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, huh? Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Doreen! Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. Treasure! <laughs> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch! Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, that's all right. Know the other stories. You still owe me one. I'm good for it. Okay. Overall, the game is good. The game has pretty good controls, except for the occasional hiccup in the platforming and uh, barrier like changing, where it's just like hold to one direction, press a thing, and then it runs in the direction to the next to the next barrier. But uh, just the way some of the stuff was implemented was bad. Like, the fact that in the later game, you die so fast on normal. Because, like, the beginning of the game, the beginning of the game definitely felt like it was an of normal difficulty. But then, those last few chapters felt like it should have been on hard difficulty. Dying in four hits, having insta-death snipers, having insta-death bombers, having bum-rushing dickheads. It's very, very just... Ugh! Like, it very... It soiled the mood. It soiled the mood of the game. Like, the controls, when it comes to aiming, are a little wonky, but what do you expect? It is a console shooter, so there's a little bit of leeway, and you have to find the perfect balance of uh, sensitivity. Like, the one thing that I did like was you were kind of forced to change up your playstyle because you're running out of ammo for a certain gun so you switch to another gun. I would have liked that a bit more if it was implemented better. Like, uh, like of course it couldn't have been implemented, but it, if it was balanced better with ammo and stuff like, uh, so that there were like certain guns at certain places, so if you run out of ammo you have another gun, just like if that was done a little bit better. Because, like, at the, that point where I ran out of ammo with the cathedral, and then I had to run out so that the enemies would come closer so I could then bum-rush them. It is nice that you have an insta-kill dropkick attack. That's very nice. <coughs> but the story, the story is fine. I really like the story. It's a very good Indiana Jones-type story, National Treasure-type story, with action, adventure, funny characters... I just wish that the gameplay could have been tighter. If they made it so that Nathan Drake would stop at ledges like, Whoa! and kind of teeter over an edge before going back to safety. If it's just like, to save you, to save you some trouble so that you can go ahead, get your, get your running start and then jump. But then some of the jumps were just stupid. It was just like, oh no, you can't make that jump. Oh no, you can't make ju jump. 
even though Nathan Drake has been able to jump jumps like that before, but because the game says you can't, you can't. That's annoying. Then, of course, the moments with the chains, and the moments where... It was just very annoying. Like, for a platformer with hidden treasure, it wasn't too cryptic. It's just when it was piling on a whole bunch of little annoying things on top of each other that I then l missed the chain in the catacomb area, like the ruins with, uh, I already forget her name. I forget her name. But, uh, Miss Love Interest who actually did shit. I like her. Uh, but when you were esc escorting her through the, uh, Roman numerals puzzle, he just was so annoying with the stupid obstacles. Like the, oh, because, like, your foot was still in the range of it, your entire body goes flying away with this predetermined animation. And, of course, with the itty-bitty bits again, the missing jumps because he's floaty, but uh, he doesn't make jumps unless the jump was, like, predetermined or something. It's like, this jump can do it, but this jump won't do it, stupid. And then the controls for finding and jumping to, like, a place, like, jumping from a ledge to another ledge, were annoying because, like, I've played Assassin's Creed, and I, I kind of expected the jumping mechanics and the climbing mechanics to be similar to that, and they kind of are when they work, but when they don't work, it just shows that this was a... How, it just basically shows the game's age. Like, I'm, hopefully, this is, like, I, again, with, like, Ratchet and Clank and stuff, I am fairly certain that the sequels will be better, because people are like, oh, these games are amazing, and then it's like, but then there are these ones, where they're just certain little problems with the first game. The shooting was okay, if it weren't for the fact that, if it weren't for the fact that you died so fast, and... Let's look at your bonuses. Oh, treasures, so you can look at all the treasures. Uh, medals. Oh, so you can look at all the medals. Professional fortune hunter, find 40 treasures, and then find all 60. Brutal brawler, kill five enemies with a brutal combo, kill 20. He kill five enemies in a row with a brutal combo, kill 20 enemies with uh, melee attacking from behind, Just kill five enemies with a single punch after softening them up with gunfire. And same thing. Hidden metal. Play the game to unlock this metal. Run and gunner. Kill 20 enemies by aiming while hanging from a ledge. Kill 20 enemies with a grenade by aiming while hanging from a ledge. Hidden metal, hidden metal, hidden metal. Those are probably like the grenade launcher, the stuff. Hidden metal, hidden metal. Charted sure, easy. Hidden metal, hidden metal. Basically, yeah, the medals do look pretty good in uh, theory. But again, what was with that difficulty spike where I don't like the difficulty spike near the end. Insta-death snipers who aren't even snipers. They have desert eagles with laser sights and that apparently makes them snipers or something stupid like that. The final boss. He was as easy as he was because I already knew how shit he was. I'm fairly certain I would have had just as much trouble with him at his final stage as I did in the beginning of the final chapter stage boat. But because I already knew about that part, I was able to go, Ah, I'm prepared for your stupid shit. But the rest of the game, like... Ugh. The beginning of the game is good. It's nice, atmospheric, builds up stuff. Uh, was a little annoying in places, but not too bad. Later on, like, uh, same thing. It has a... When it comes to atmosphere, characters, and story, it's good across the board. When it comes to gameplay, it's all over the place. Because the beginning of the game is good for gameplay. Up until... Basically, up until the moment that they start spamming grenade dudes and... Basically, yeah, the moment the laser sight dudes came in was the moment the gameplay started to go downhill. 
that's interesting. Because, like, the moment the laser sight dudes come in, that's when the gameplay started to go down. But the gameplay wasn't super stellar because it kind of had a big problem with bum rush him, bum rush him, bum rush him, and failing to telegraph where enemies are coming from, where damage was coming from, and a good path for you to take to avoid all that. Like, the perfect example was during the part where you're trying to get to the boat and you first encounter the MP4, uh, the, the next level up from the AK-47. Uh, once you get to that room, it's basically kill the dude or maybe two dudes to the right, go there and then finish off all the others after taking out the turret. But because randomness and stupidness and blah. Like, the game is good enough. It's good enough. There are far, far worse games than this. But, yeah, I recommend playing on easy because screw that difficulty curve. In fact, if I ever play this again, unless I am super duper, like, masochistic, I'm not gonna play on hard. That's just it. Unless I'm feeling masochistic, I'll, uh, I won't play on hard. And then there's crushing. Oh, God. What the fuck could you do more? That's what I want to know. Well, how more evil can you be than stinking hard mode, which is going to be even worse because there's already instant death stuff. There's already a terrible difficulty curve. <laughs> it's like, no, no game, no. See, so yeah, overall, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, basically Uncharted 1, is fine. It's fine in story, fine in character, good enough in gameplay, but just has, again, those little niggly bits. I will say this, I consider Ratchet and Clank to be worse than this game when it comes to the stupid bullshit that I have to pull up, put up with. Especially near the end, because with this game, the luck factor was kind of a link to your skill as well, where it's basically when to retreat, when to hide, where to move, but it's still very annoying, and like the cathedral part, it's just annoying, whereas Ratchet and Clank, like, for the majority of it, Ratchet and Clank was good as well, but then the ending kind of, with uh, annoying enemy placements, and of course the evil final boss, but... I consider Uncharted better because it utilizes everything better, it utilizes the characters better, it utilizes the story better, it utilizes the gameplay decently enough. Just wish that they didn't get the ideas like throw in insta deaths, throw in insta deaths. Like, yes, I get it, you have to ramp up the difficulty the later in the game it is, but god diddly damn, you don't have to be that evil. Desert Eagle snipers, bum rushing grenade dudes. Fucking Sully doing jack shit when he's actually in the gameplay. So anyway, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Uncharted. A decent enough game that hopefully has a better sequel. I'm just saying it. I really hope the sequel's better. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully the sequel's better. Fixes the problems. I beg of you. Oh, <laughs>